ele foi um dos mais importantes militantes negros dos Estados Unidos. Com a máxima Todo o Poder ao Povo, criou a estética visual e a comunicação do Partido dos Panteras Negras, um marco da luta pelos direitos civis e contra a violência policial. E foi justamente essa frase que o Sesc escolheu para homenagear Emory Douglas, numa exposição com grande parte da sua obra. E quem conduz essa conversa é o designer e ilustrador Junião, muito influenciado pelos desenhos do norte-americano. Então, eu estou aqui com essa figura extraordinária que é Elmore Douglas, nada mais nada menos que o artista gráfico responsável pelas capas e as artes gráficas dos Panteras Negras. Well, I think because one, it was a youth movement yeah. of young people. Yeah. That young people who has these frustrations. I was born on 21, uh, 22. So that was the thing that captured the attention of a lot of young people uh, all over the world. And, that, and, and then to come together as an organization and with uh, a, a program and what we wanted to, what we wanted to do and implementing that program in practice uh, had an impact. Do you think that your work inspired hope? Well, it, 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 uh, it, it, it inspired hope. It inspired resistance. It also reflected the pain, the suffering, the joy, the happiness. All of those things reflected in the artwork itself. In that context, the art was uh, sharing with what was going on and educating and enlightening the people about what the resistance that needed uh, regarding self-determination and trying to overcome those uh, challenges that we were confronted with. And what they see in the art, some folks and some of the young folks, is that they can see some of the same issues that they were concerned with today in Louisiana. still exist yeah. from 50 years ago. Yeah. And so they see that in the art, the parallels. Line up over there and let's see what kind of stock. You have the young people who have been inspired by the whole hip hop generation of work. Yeah. So you see a lot of that in their art, yeah. which is a whole different from the art that I was doing. My art was inspired by uh, the revolutionary movements of the time, the Cuban Revolution, yeah. the uh, and Mozambique, Angola, the art come out of those movements. All that uh, framed the inspiration for what I did, not necessarily trying to duplicate what they did, but being inspired by that work. Have you did some CG or LP cover for one artist? Uh, no, well, no. I, I, no, I haven't uh, no. done any covers or yeah. anything. Uh, I always tell people I'm retired, like I said. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just do what I do and make the contribution in that way. Yeah. Because at uh, the age I am, you don't want too much stress <laughs> from me in, with the deadlines. You got yeah. deadlines. Deadlines, deadlines. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. uh, it, 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 it's hard. <laughs> deadline is hard. I, yeah. I, I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 